Morning. Cold. Right, windscreen were frozen up this morning. So I'm glad I put all the tractors inside. Andy's here somewhere. Can you hear that straw blower? Emma will be turning up a little bit later. And uh, yeah, take some cattle now. Well, I'm not, my dad is. So my dad's just getting off now. Me and Andy start the feeding up. I'd better jump on the mm, TM. Andy's just pulling some stubborn bands out. Morning, Andy. Morning, did you watch my video last night? A little bit. You did? Yeah. Oh, do you know then? What's that? It's okay, he doesn't know, he doesn't know. No. That's fine, no. that's good. What have you done now? Oh, it's all right. Morning, Em! Andy's keeping busy. Squishy's trying to keep out of the way. Oh, I've got the pressure on him now. Towards me, Andy. Right, I will, um, he's not going to like this. <laughs> I think you need to be this way a bit, towards me. <coughs> He's got it. Well done, Andy. Em's getting the gates for me so I can feed these guys. Not strawed these up yet. Jump in, Em. Oh, what are you going to tell us? What you've been up to this weekend on your day off? Adventuring. Excitement driving about the countryside. In that, yeah. In that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so you were driving about in all that wind yeah. with your mates? Uh, yeah. In, in middle of moors, basically. Yeah. <laughs> it must be mad. And that was fun? Yeah? Understand. Yeah? Understand. Uh, uh, Back to life for luxury now. Em's taking pipes off from it, don't even have to move. We'll go and feed some fodder beet out. So yeah, just feeding out a bit of fodder beet. Andy, what have you just said? Yeah, I thought you sharpened that one, Joe. Yes, I have sharpened it, Andy. Really? Oh, right, okay. Oh, man. Not happy. Not happy. <laughs> I'm sure it's working faster, Andy. You just, you just, you've, you've been off it for two days. That's what's happened. Oh, right, yeah. yeah, and um, and yeah, you just not realise it's a lot quicker now. <laughs> yeah, I can't believe that. It's got to have made some difference because it's sharpened them blades up. I reckon you just had, hadn't noticed because you hadn't been on it. Some things were razor sharp yesterday, so maybe this straw's just quite difficult to cut. It is quite long stuff, but um, yeah, I guess I'll have to get on the straw blower and see what it's like, can I? <laughs> and he's about just sorting that out. It's like a spaghetti junction round here. Shake this out, M is taming them cows. Let's see if I can get a bit closer. They're the really wild ones that wouldn't stand to be within the same field as you. And she's about got him. I mean, there's that white-headed one there. Is a bit wild still. Look, he's looking around, thinking, "What's going on here?" But I think she's getting there with him, you know. I don't think she's going to be stroking him anytime soon. But that is a massive improvement. Doing well with them, are you? Getting there. Yeah. Hey, should we do some strawing? Need to spread a bale on. Jump on them. It is funny stuff to put out this straw. I mean, look how long it is. Look at that cow eating some there. Real long stuff. Anyway, I'm getting back to strawing these guys up. Making a good job. Coffee time done today. Looks like I've not spilt any, but I did. <laughs> Plan is now we're going to get a few cattle out. Uh, so we've got some going. Um, soon, so we'll have to get them all clipped up. We'll head in there. The fancy 6125s in the yard. A 
Looking very tidy. Fetching a Sunbali in. There's other tractor there. Oh, it's a little one today. Not fetched this one for a bit. I'll look at that in a second. Andy, a busy clipping again. A few cattle in there with some nice size to them. All nicely cleaned up. Hi, right, Andy. Yeah, it's a bit mucky this crush, isn't it? Um, time for a clean out. So, I've just had my dinner. What the hell have I done with my hat? <laughs> so, I'm going to push this barley up here. And then me and Ems are going to go for some more barley. Uh, she, she can sweep up for me. And Andy is going hedge cutting. So, we've got, I think, just the last field to do, really, um, with a hedge cutter. So, it'll be good. We can get that dropped off then. Um, job would be a good one. Yeah, so just do a bit of time lapse. I think we'll be pushing this barley up. So nicely got that pushed up now, and me and Emma are going on a little adventure to go and get a bit more. I'm going to be TM, man. Guess what you're going to be? Shovel or a sweeper woman? Yeah. Person. 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 So me and Em are about here. I think what I'll do is I'll set my uh, camera up on trailer again because it's not raining today. And hopefully we'll get a lovely time lapse of filling it with the little bucket. You'll see hundreds and hundreds of buckets going in and uh, it'll be in a split second. <laughs> Fantastic. So what I'll do now is just shovel it into the corners. It's a bit over top, I know, but I've got to transport all this, so I don't want to come back for just a ton at uh, a later date. Get it as minimum amount of loads as possible. So I should now be able to get another bucket full. It's about done. The trailer's full, and we're just sweeping it up, making a job of it, aren't we, Em? Because uh, the chap's in his eighties. And he's off to the hospital. He don't want to be having to do this. And we can just get it tidied up, can't we? Help the man out. Farmers helping farmers, eh, Em? <laughs> Young farmers helping old farmers. <laughs> That's what it's all about. There it is. All nice and full. A load of Trafford gold here. The stuff that don't like coming out. Air ambulance plastered all over it. Warwickshire and Northamptonshire air ambulance. That's it, we're about there now. <clears throat> it's sticky stuff though. Still plenty in. All get stuck in the front one. Real sticky stuff. Time for me to tip my load of barley off now. I think it'll come out a bit easier than uh, that Trafford Gold. What nightmare stuff that is. Barley 
job going a bit steady now, because uh, I need to get a fair bit of that mill really. It's taking up a lot of space. So my dad's now off to go and fetch some fodder bee off our friendly local arable farmer. He's gone him! He's gone! Yes! So that's the barley tipped off there. And you'll have seen it earlier in the trailer. I'm gonna push it up with a nine meter. How much weight do people think is in that load there? So this one here. How much do you think, there? How much do I, I don't know, do I? Um, There's only you that knows, isn't there? Um, how much do I think there is? I think there is 14.210 tons in there. Yeah? So we'll let you know in, we'll give it two days, I think. Yeah, so when's that Wednesday? We'll let you know. A shout out to whoever's won. Okay? Bang on. Lorry driver's just been having a bit of a nightmare trying to get on Weybridge. He'd driven through the Trafford and then didn't have no traction, so. So we're going to try it from the other end, going to go around right roundabout and come back in to weigh off. And I'll uh, tidy this lot up. I should have got a video really, I'm skidding out, but I didn't, I'm trying to help job out a bit. So now with the 9 metre, I'm going to move all this Trafford that we couldn't get tipped in the shed. I have to shift these pallets here. Um, and then take it all into the back and tip it there. Um, what I did suggest to my dad was that we put some bales in here and then we just leave it in the front of the shed because I knew we won't get it tipped up but no he's got other ideas he wants it in the back there which means we can't park anything in this bay at all under cover because we need to get to the Trafford Gold every day but trying to explain that to him difficult well we've only been doing <laughs> two, two truckers you know don't you <laughs> <laughs> we've only been doing it two months I can't oh, yeah. believe how, uh, how it's gone it's Brilliant, isn't it? But well, you watch the videos when you've got a minute, man. Because I'll tell you what, you'll fucking be, you'll be fishing your time. <laughs> For Charlotte, she, like, she just, just comes in spot like, but. Is she? Uh, but we, we haven't done six months for that. We're on um, just under half, uh, half a million views. But 35,000 fucking like, 3,000 fucking summit likes, like. Three millions, are Three million? Yeah, fuck, Bloody yeah. hell. <laughs> He's doing well at this job, like. <laughs> We don't know what he's lorry driving for. I don't know. <laughs> it's a fucking hobby. <laughs> it is, isn't it? Great pleasure to meet you anyway. See you. Oh, he's off. Two truckers. Don't get stuck. <laughs> I didn't know until we just uh, just weighed him off there that uh, he was big on TikTok. I'd not seen him. But he's a good lad. I'll watch some of his TikToks in a bit. I said I should have got him when he got stuck here. <laughs> there we go. Oh, he's getting us some turns. <laughs> Aye, that's, uh, that's Nev from uh, Nev and Charlotte, two truckers. I didn't know a note about it, like I just said, I just thought, oh, you know, I ought to say why I was filming, uh, filming them tipping load off and what have you, because um, if you'd have said like, oh, I don't want, I don't want you to film it, like some lorry drivers might not be so bothered, um, I thought I better just say, oh, just filming for YouTube and that, and he's like, oh, right, have you got TikTok? I'm like, oh, yeah, yeah, I've got TikTok, I'm like, why, have you seen us on there or something? He's like, uh, no, I was wondering if you'd seen us. And I'm like, I'm so, I'm like what do you mean? He's like, oh, I've got half a million followers on TikTok. <laughs> oh, funny. So, um, yeah, I follow two truckers now, so I'll watch their videos later. I watched one or two of them, it looked very funny. But you know what I'm like, I've, not, I've only been on TikTok like, is it three months or something, two, two and a half months, something like that. And uh, so I'd, I'd never, I'd never seen them. <laughs> oh, what a funny exchange! But yeah, sound lad, sound lad he is. Right, so I'll just jump out of the nine metre. We've got it all moved, haven't we, Em? Oh, I have. And you were sweeping up behind. Now I'm going to get on. Sh have you brought me a shovel? Is there a shovel for me? Huh? 
I'll go on then. Look, um, just to document, I'm going to be doing some shoveling. <laughs> so all this stuff here, that you can see, is Trafford Gold. It's just so sticky. It just sticks to the floor. You can't brush it. And that's why, when I've been moving it into the back, I've not just pushed it all the way in. I've like got it in the bucket and then drove it into the back of the shed and tipped it off. Whereas probably normally with any other product, I'd use a grain pusher and I'd just keep pushing it in and pushing it in. But me and Emma would have that much stuff to tidy up. It'd be a nightmare, wouldn't it, Em? If we had to tidy up that bit as well. Because um, it's a nightmare as it is, tidying up the bit that we've got. So <laughs> trying not to make as much hard work for us. Uh, Selves as possible. Try and keep it easy. Show us how slippy it is. <laughs> right, so Joe's biggest kid in town. Yeah. What are doing you are, Joseph? Did it look cool? I bet it didn't, did it? <laughs> Your turn, um. Yeah. Go. <laughs> I've done a risk assessment on this and I think we should stop it. <laughs> I wish I had that tool truck as the whole thing filmed because I'd have looked such an idiot. <laughs> oh. Where he says, oh, have you, have you got TikTok? And I'm like, oh yeah, have you seen us on it? It's like, no, no, I've not seen you, no. Um, I'm just wondering if you'd seen us. Oh. It was funny. All right, Andy. Yeah. We've got to do a review now on M's wheels. Sick rims, M. Do you know what I personally like about your bike? Can you just show everybody its seat cover? This is a custom seat cover. Tesco, Tesco, Tesco speciality. <laughs> How many horsepower has it got, M? <laughs> Depends how you're feeling. Absolute weapon. So that's all we've got about time for today because Emmy's off on her bike, her sick rims, sick rims. <laughs> so if you like our stuff, remember to subscribe, like and comment and uh, tell us if you liked seeing Nev there from um, Two Truckers. We really enjoyed meeting him. I did not know who he was until he told us, but I am now a fan. I've watched a few other videos, they're very funny. Head over there and if you've not uh, followed him, follow him and just put Joe Seal sent me. And that would be funny. So, <laughs> it would be funny for me anyway. Probably not for anybody else, actually. I'm going to shut up and I'm going to say bye. See ya. <laughs>